Hello everyone, my name is Christina Bazanz. I'm the Chief Executive Officer at CHATS, Community and Home Assistance to Seniors. We know the COVID-19 pandemic has been a difficult time for our clients and their families, as we've gone from the various stages of lockdown through to the gradual reopening of public places and services. Understandably, there's still some concern amongst clients about coming back to CHATS programs. This video will walk you through some of the changes we've implemented at CHATS in response to the COVID-19 pandemic to ensure a safe return for our clients, volunteers and staff. At the outset of the pandemic, CHATS took proactive steps to keep our clients and employees safe. We implemented a variety of safety me measures which allowed us to continue to provide essential supports such as assisted living, meals on wheels, personal and home health support, home adaptations and maintenance, and transportation to most of our vulnerable community members. We made changes in the way we deliver many of our services so that clients and caregivers stay connected to their supports from chats. This was done by providing virtual options by phone or internet and offering extended and in some cases additional services to older adults in the regions we serve. Our objective was to help our clients stay safe while they sheltered at home. We did have to suspend some of our programs for a period of time, including six of our seven adult day programs. As we start to reopen these programs, we want to reassure you and provide you with confidence that we've taken all the necessary precautions to ensure everyone's safety. Some of the changes we have implemented will start before you and your loved ones enter the program. We have implemented an active screening of all clients prior to each visit. No one showing signs or symptoms will be permitted to enter the program space. Each client and or caregiver will receive a phone call the day before they are to attend the program to complete a screener. All clients and caregivers will be reminded to call to cancel if anything changes. Clients will be screened again upon arrival to the program to confirm nothing has changed from the day before. We have also established new protocols for CHATS transportation services that include enhanced hand hygiene for all clients, limiting one client per vehicle at any time, requesting clients to wear a mask while in the vehicle, allowing time between drives to wipe down and sanitize vehicles, installation of barriers in some, and we have a windows open protocol to enable airflow. At this time, we are doing fewer than normal drives, so it is important to book drives well in advance. Our adult day programs have started to welcome back clients and we have implemented a new process for anyone arriving at their ADP location. Caregivers and drivers are asked to call a designated phone number assigned to the ADP to let staff know that they have arrived. A CHAT staff member will complete the screening protocol and based on the answers will let the client know if they are able to enter the program. If the client screening indicates that they can't attend, CHATS will contact the family immediately for pickup and monitor the client in a dedicated isolation room. Part of our new protocols include wearing a mask in all shared spaces for any CHATS offices or programs. To correctly put on a mask, it is important to complete hand hygiene prior to putting on the mask and again once it is properly placed on your face. Front desk staff are set up to screen each person arriving in the building. All staff complete a daily online screener. Results are monitored to ensure staff who are unwell or at risk due to contact with someone who is unwell do not go into work. Staff are also actively screened when they enter the CHATS building. We have also implemented enhanced cleaning and sanitation of program areas which includes disinfecting washrooms after each client use, cleaning of high touch point areas throughout the day, bins to separate clean and dirty equipment. All dirty equipment is sanitized daily. Installation of sneeze guards where needed. Removal of all excess furniture, magazines and items that are not able to be disinfected or shared. Mobile cleaning kits, increased daily audits, and increased cleaning services. The program space has been set up to align with physical distancing protocols. 
Our staff are vigilant in redirecting clients to ensure a safe physical distance is maintained. There is no sharing of equipment or supplies between clients. Each client has an individually labeled bin that contains their personal program supplies. Their bin is pulled and used on days they attend. In the main program space, clients have their meals and participate in activities. Group activities are done with client space the required six feet apart. Markings are placed on the floor to ensure chairs and or tables are properly spaced. At mealtime, only one client is seated at each table. Each table only has one chair. Daily meal preparation is done by one assigned staff person who is solely responsible for the preparation and plating of all meals in the kitchen. We are following all the food handling safety measures as outlined by Public Health. At the Aurora location, we have our therapeutic garden that has been set up to align with physical distancing requirements. This is a great space for clients to get some fresh air and safely take part in outdoor activities when the weather permits. Thank you very much for following along. We hope this video has helped you to better understand the changes we've made to keep clients, caregivers and staff safe while participating in our programs. Your patience and understanding while we work hard to adapt to the current needs is much appreciated. At this time, we've started to gradually reopen our day programs in Aurora, Bradford, Richmond Hill and Vaughan, as well as our South Asian Adult Day program. We'll continue to reopen the remainder of our programs in a safe and timely manner. If you have any additional questions not answered in our video, please feel free to reach out to chats with your questions. Thank you so much for your time.